Meanwhile, the accidental shooting death of a seven-year-old boy in Mobile is calling more attention to gun safety. And yeah, Mobile police say Jaden Hill Sims somehow got a hold of a gun Tuesday and accidentally shot himself. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Gun shop owners say there are steps you can take to promote gun safety. Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander has that story. This goes around your seat frame and it goes into the safe where it, it secures the gun. It'll fit basically any small handgun. Jeff Stone owns Stone Arms Incorporated. He says gun safety starts with you, even if the lessons seem obvious. Never put your finger on the trigger, never, unless you're firing the gun at a target, you know. Uh, never point the gun at anybody, even if you know it's unloaded. And Stone says, always treat the gun as if it's loaded. But when it comes to gun safety in children, he says education is especially crucial. If you try to hide the gun in the closet or under the bed and they find it, they're not going to know that it's not safe. But if you teach them from day one, hey, this is a gun, this can kill you, this can kill your friends. But if you treat it safely, it is safe. Stone says if your child knows about gun safety, it could save lives. This is a typical handgun lock. He also says federal laws mandate that all handguns, new and used, have to be sold with a gun lock. Also, gun dealers sell safes, large and small. And you can take a firearms safety course. You can learn how to safely use that gun and feel confident that it's just not going to go off. Reporting for Mobile, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. Stone also says even if a gun has a safety on it, given enough time, a child can find out how to disengage it. Yeah, if you need a gun lock, you know you can get one for free at many of our local police departments. Daphne, Chickasaw, Satsuma, and Saraland Police all offer free gun locks to anyone who needs them. All right, Alabama.